Hi everyone, welcome to a new episode. We're working on unit four, lesson seven, review and recap, and we are using technology. Let's get started. We're going to review unit four skills. And now I want you to look at these objects and say what they are. Okay, let's look at number one, number two, and number three. Of course, number one is a mouse. We use it to click on icons in a laptop or a computer. And number two is a phone charger. We use it to recharge our phone. And number three is an MP3 player. We use it to listen to any audio that we want to listen to. Now, I'd like you to tell me what technology do you use? Think about the kind of technology you use the most and work with a partner to discuss. Let's read the speech bubbles together. I use a laptop, but I don't use an MP3 player. Why don't you use an MP3 player? Now, I want you to think about the kind of technology you use the most and discuss it with a partner. So, for example, I use my laptop the most along with my mobile phone. I never use a tablet. What do you use? Discuss with your partner. Now, I want you to ask and answer questions and guess who your partner is thinking of. So look at the pictures together. Let's look at number one, picture two, pictures three and four, five and six, and guess who your partner is thinking of. So let's Take an example, if we look at picture five, we will see a girl holding the phone. She's looking at her phone and she's smiling. So maybe she wants to take a selfie. So you can play this game with your partner. You can look at the picture, pictures three and four together and pay attention to the details. Those two women are sitting on some kind of mat and they have a picnic basket next to them. They're holding plates in their hands. So what are they doing? Are they having a picnic? Yes, they are. Now we're going to match to make words for technology. Which is one word? Number one is C. So one C, phone charger. Number two is laptop. Computer, laptop, computer. The next word, number three, is E. So it is mobile phone. And number four is MP3 player, MP3 player, so 4A. And number five is white board. Remember, white board is one word and not two words. So they have to be stuck together when we write them down. Unlike phone charger or laptop, it must be two words. It must be written as two separate words. But whiteboard is one word stuck together. Now, I'd like you to complete the dialogue with these words. This is a conversation between Nasser and Mazin. And we're going to fill in the blanks with the correct words. Nasser, what are you doing, Mazin? Hi, Nasser. I'm blank on our new tablet. I am using our new tablet. Are you blank an email? Are you writing an email? No, I'm not. Look, can you see the photos on it? Oh, yes. Are you watching a film? No, I'm not. I'm Looking at information for our homework. These are all verbs in the present continuous tense. So make sure you use those correctly when we're speaking about something that is happening now. Now we will move on to answer the questions for you. Number one, who or what is behind you? So I want you to look behind you and write down who is behind you or what is behind you? In my case, I have a chair behind me. What about you? Number two, 
who or what is in front of you. Right now, I have a desk in front of me and a person. What about you? Who or what is in front of you? Number three, who or what is next to you? Next to me is just a wall. What is next to you? Number four, what is under your desk? Well, for me, I have nothing under my desk. What is under yours? Number five, where is your best friend? For me, my best friend is at home. Where is your best friend? Please write all your answers down. You may pause the video if needed. Now for our exit slip. I want you to write one paragraph about how to stay safe online. The first sentence of a paragraph is called the topic sentence. The topic sentence presents the main idea of the paragraph. So staying safe online is very important. We can stay safe online if we are careful. So I want you to think about everything we talked about, about online safety, and write down a paragraph. Now, I want you to remember to use capital letters correctly, along with punctuation marks. Make sure you use the correct verb forms. And thank you guys. That's a wrap. This was Ms. Sarabatiuni. Have a wonderful day.